Hello, my name is Chef Sonia Kerr, and I'm one of the corporate chefs here on the General Mills food service baking team, the culinary team. My main responsibilities are doing the baking skills training for our sales teams, as well as R&D. And as a certified dietary manager, I also support our healthcare and senior living teams. Today I want to talk to you about Pillsbury tube set batter. This is our muffin batter. The one thing that I love about this is that we have so many flavors that you can choose from, so you can really have one for every occasion. Um, the format is perfect. It's in a three pound tube. And so uh, this way you can thaw it under refrigeration for three hours or half an hour at room temperature. So that way, in case you forget to prep ahead or you have something pop up, you're good to go. The two recipes I want to show you today are actually first, just how to pipe from the bag, how fast and easy it is. And then the second is how to make uh, an easy stack cake. So first, we're just going to take a pair of shears. We're going to cut the edge off the end of the bag. We're going to go ahead. You notice we're going to hold from the center of the bag. We're using one hand to lift, the other to squeeze. Fill in your tins about halfway full. And you need to squeeze more batter down. And then because we don't want to waste, we're actually going to use a plastic bait scraper to push our batter down. You can do this with a spatula or just on the edge of your table. We're going to give it one more scrape, get that last couple drops out of there for you. And you'll notice this is a lot less waste than if you had to thaw the plastic pail. Now you just have one wrap to throw away. We're going to go ahead, put these in the oven. The next recipe that we're going to share with you today is our stack cake. And this one, that same one tube set of batter, we made three cake rounds. You'll see they are here. This is really easy. You can take any jam or jelly and we actually smeared some on each time. You can use pudding just as well. We stack the layers. And then for the topping, we took our gold metal frosting, we melted it, and we're just going to drizzle it over the top. So you don't need any special icing skills to build this cake, but it gives you the option. You can take any of the muffin matters, the matching filling of your choice. And if you want to add a little extra texture, go ahead and add some Nature Valley granola and you can add some crunch to the top of your cake. Let's go ahead and we're going to take a peek at a couple other recipes that we made for you today. The first one is a thimble cake. That, we took a jumbo muffin pan, we sprayed the pan, we deposited our batter. This time we didn't use muffin liners. On top, you put a sprayed piece of parchment and now put a sheet pan over the top. So you're going to weigh down that piece of parchment. What this does is it steams the cake inside there and it makes it a really beautiful even shape and size. Once it's fully cooled, then you can go ahead and melt some of our fudge uh, ready to spread icing and dip it. So now you've got like almost a truffle layer on there. So wonderfully delicious. The next one, we actually just simply topped our muffins with some sliced almonds. You can also top them with some mini chocolate chips, streusel, or coarse sugar. The next one that we have in front of you is just called a hot chocolate muffin. All we did was swirl in some hot cocoa mix and now we have a super indulgent almost brownie-like muffin. If you don't have any special pans, that's one of the things that I hear frequently is, Chef, I don't have any muffin pans, I can't make muffins. Why, yes, yes, you can. If you have steam table pans, you can use a half long hotel pan. So this is still three pounds of batter. Really easy, one tube, one pan. What I love about this is you can slice it and have even portions for your catering. So that way, if you don't have the muffin tins, you're still good to go. We additionally have some packaging. We have quarter sheet pans, eight by eight foil pans. So this way you can still deposit the batter in there and have a nice variety anytime. And the great part about Pillsbury products is that you can bake and refreeze. So if you only have time to prep once a week, you can still bake fresh and then pull out and thaw what you need for each shift. So let's go ahead and refresh today. The great part about the Pillsbury muffin batter is it thaws really quick, comes in so many flavors and varieties that you can find anything to suit your menu. Um, I want to invite you to go ahead and investigate more recipes on the General Mills 
Convenience and Food Service website, and we hope to see you there. Thanks for your time.